<laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, today's video is going to be about uh, wargaming and their micro patches. It's going to feature the Skoda T50, though, because, uh, yeah, I only need 10,000 XP to get to the TBP. So, I'm going to feature the Skoda T50 in this video and talk about the recent update to the game 1.14.1 which was introduced entirely just to bring back front lines and buff the type 59 so let's get into it hopefully come on gotta wait on the queue again Sorry, I just ate some ribs. I got some, uh, got some a little bit of heartburn going. Nines on Tundra, awesome. Okay. Oh, we see a couple of new buff tanks on the enemy team, or one, should say, and none on our team. It's almost like they didn't buff the tanks enough. <laughs> they. So the buffs I'm talking about are the minimalist buff they gave to the tier 10, 1 to 1. They actually gave quite a few buffs to the 120, but the big time buffs were to the Type 59, which I'm pretty sure just got buffed in the last patch, in 1.14. So I'm not a big fan of Wargaming making these micro patches to bring back um, stuff like Frontline and other things such as um, buffs to individual tanks. I think that's pretty rather dumb. Damn it. Okay. I don't like it. I don't. I don't think it's a good use of resources. And I don't think that it's as exciting for the players to get these micro updates with minimal changes to the game that aren't going to affect the meta whatsoever. And just throw them in all just randomly. Like we just had 1.14 before the start of this gold clan war season. So I don't I don't know why a month later they would in implement a micro patch when they could have just buffed these tanks when they put in the yo tanks like <laughs> they didn't need to rush this whatsoever because the yo tank should be coming out around the time of christmas so if they want to put the type 59 in the christmas boxes you can hype it up a lot more like it's not a good business decision and it's really not even a good uh, programming decision to do tons of micro patches it's much more beneficial for a programmer to uh, patch a program in large chunks that have a lot of different working parts rather than actually just go out and change a lot of things at once or change a lot of things every so often and release those as micro patches. Because micro patches are really annoying. And I rolled. Nice. Okay. So micro badges are just really annoying in general when you're programming. At least from my programming knowledge they are. Granted it has been three years since I programmed anything, so that's also not that fun. But I, I just don't like it feels disheartening to go in and change tiny little things about your program just to get minor satisfaction out of it. 
Like, nobody really asked for anything in this patch, except for everybody crying about the Type 59 not being the broken piece of shit overpowered tank that it used to be. Because let's be honest, it was a broken overpowered tank, so... Way back in the day. But if you look back at the history of World of Tanks, I mean... Up until like two or three years ago, they didn't release all these little micro patches. I think it started with um, like 1.8.1. I think they did a micro patch for 1.8.1, which was like so dumb. Because <laughs> I believe that was the original patch that we got frontline in. Which is my least favorite game mode that they've ever released, so. Steel Hanover's bad, but, like, I hate Frontline <laughs> so much. It's so dumb. Steel Hunter was at least a cool idea, in theory. Because, I mean, people had kind of been asking for a Battle Royale game mode. And I think they implemented it well, much better than it was on the original, I think it was the sandbox that they originally came out with it on. So, what are we going to see in 1.15 that's just going to like make that a major update versus this being minor update? I guess the introduction of a new mechanic, even though it's not going to be a new mechanic, because the first Yo tank is going to come in during this patch before the next one, because they've already put the mechanic into the game. Another question, while we're looking at an AE Phase 1 that has now died, so are they going to give the AE Phase 1 this mechanic? Of the, the repairing the track while moving kind of thing like it doesn't it doesn't seem like a broken mechanic and I don't hate the idea of the mechanic I just don't like the way they're trying to implement it into the game now obviously if you're gonna release the premium tank you're going to before the patch you're going to have to put the mechanic into the game before the uh, premium tank is released so but I mean do you really need to you really need to release the premium tank beforehand look at the Skoda T56 it got released alongside the check heavies and it is one of the most hyped tanks that was ever released in the game everybody wanted one because it's broken <laughs> but I mean it's a terrible strategy by Wargaming I think to do all these micro patches and I think they should just go back to the old way they used to do it where they used to just give big patches over time like make sure the patches are perfectly good and balanced before you actually start changing tanks around now we got tens on Ruinberg with one Chinese medium tank in the game I don't know why they buffed the entire line honestly because they obviously did not buff them well enough for people to actually want to play them. And when you look at the Chinese heavy or Chinese medium tanks, most of them have five or less degrees of gun depression. So why would you want to play a tank with no gun depression in a game that is now 100% about having 10 degrees of gun depression? And an impenetrable turret. Sure. 
because M60 is going to sit in this corner and be annoying. Now I'm running because I. Why? What? Why did he say GG campers? There's one person camping. Okay. Well. That's good. So, anyway. There's my rant on the uh, Chinese medium tank quote-unquote buffs. I mean, they're buffs, but they're worthless buffs that really aren't gonna change anything about the game, or the fact that nobody wants to play the Chinese mediums. So... But speaking of mediums, how about this? We're playing a medium. It's not Chinese. Because I don't hate myself. Oh, he's hold down. Love how he high rolls. Love how they all high roll. There we go. But anyway, let's go, let's go to tier 50. Uh, Czechoslovakian tier 9 medium tank with a 3 shot 100 millimeter? Yep. Auto loader with 320 alpha and a clip potential of 960. Which this leopard is probably going to figure out is painful to be shot by. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Missed the first shot, which is really unfortunate, and I'm still spotted. Okay. Alright. Now that I shouldn't be spotted anymore. Eight in the face, that's a high roll of at least one shot. And I'm about to get flanked by a 51. So what we got to do here is we gotta get safe. Hold down the fire button and hope I can get more than one shot up. Oh well. So anyway, let's go to T50. I love it. It's actually really fun to play. But you know what I don't love? Wargaming's patching mechanic. <laughs> or Wargaming's patching scheduling, I guess, is what I'm going to call it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But, I mean, they have all the power. It's their game. I guess they can do what they want, but... I would prefer it if they didn't patch the game so poorly. I mean, was anybody excited for this patch, honestly? Other than the people who, like, swear by the Type 59 that it's always going to be the best premium tank in the game. But yes, I would want a Type 59 just to have a Type 59 because I like to have tanks. Lots and lots of tanks. And the Type 59 would fit my playstyle slightly. Does it need to be buffed consistently because they don't want to 
because they kept nerfing it back in the day, and so now it was in a state that it was just so bad that nobody wanted to play it. Because like it or not, they nerfed it, and it was balanced, and then it got power creeps. Whoa, somebody firing an actual non-stun round out of an arty? What? Who would do such a thing? That's so stupid. Anyway, I don't think it was a good move on Wargaming's part. This video is gonna suck, but I don't really care <laughs> that much. I'm more just pissed that we don't have the massive patches with tons of vehicle changes or statistic changes that would cause changes in the meta. You know, like maybe nerfing the Chieftain. That'd be good. Or fuck, just release it in a Clan Wars soon. <laughs> like, holy shit. It's like the only people who have a Chieftain are the ones who got it originally. Or the ones who just had so many bonds over the last two years that they were able to afford getting a Chieftain. Like at this point, I'm just totally going to scrap the idea that I'm ever going to get into the top 220 or 2,200 people that place by uh, fame points in the um, clan war season for the tanks and that I'd do it on a chieftain season because it's even harder to do it when the chieftain is available because guess what everybody wants a chieftain surprise surprise Another thing about that is, is a lot of people, from what I've seen recently, is there's a lot of top tier clans that have uh, rather new accounts in them with just like the 2790, the Super Conk, the 140, the 277, the version 4 back when it was completely overpowered and everybody liked to run it in Clan Wars and like... Um, a Leo just for getting the Chieftain in Clan Wars having usable enough tanks to get to the Chieftain in Clan Wars but they're in such a high clan that like they're going to be in the top 20, 2200 so they're going to get a Chieftain but it's a brand new fucking account so every time the, these tank seasons are going on people are playing on accounts that are second accounts and they already have the chieftain so gotta get a chieftain on my reroll you know there's a bigger problem <laughs> in this game than just micro patches and shitty Chinese medium tanks that nobody wants to play but as long as uh, Wargaming's making $50 off of every premium tank they sell, we're fucking $90 in the case of the Tier 9 premium tanks that they are now releasing. We're never going to get back to the way the game was four years ago when there wasn't this massive gun depression meta where you have to have 10 degrees of gun depression and... A fast tank with a small or impenetrable turret. It's just ridiculous, honestly. So anyway, there's my rant. I'm gonna go get the TVP now. Because, you know, I only need like 8,000 experience to get it. And I'll, uh... See you guys next time.